So apparently Diablo 4 season four has been data mined. We got people like Riker talking about it in his videos. I went to the subreddit and there is multiple posts all talking about how season four theme speculation here has been out. There's one, two, three different posts and these were within two days. So apparently your boy missed this data mine because I was doing my subathon and got my head out of the news for 151 hours straight. But if you pull open the original source and where this actually stems from and the people that have the OG information here would be Wowhead. So I will put a link to their article down below. You can watch it there. And I'm not gonna go into the lore and all that about Iron Wolves. I actually would recommend Riker's video. If you wanna know about the lore and the background of the Iron Wolves, I will put a link to both of those bits of information down below. But Wowhead here, broke the news related to a data mine and also the in game, you can see you're gaining things like Wolf's Honor. So what's actually going on? Well, the first bit is actual data mine images. So the PTR files that got added for that server, they looked into the files, they found these images here and these images resemble basically the Iron Wolf emblems. Then we have the mark of seasonal content with two wolves here, sort of an Iron Wolves mark that will be used for the map later on in season four, it looks like. As you scroll down, like I was showing you here, you have the reputational gain. So it looks like there's going to be a reputational system. In fact, some of the quests in game show the Iron Wolves as well. And Iron Wolves reputation will be probably similar to the reputation that we had, for instance, like season two with the blood tides. As you continue here, Day the Mind Reputational Rewards, and now we have a whole bunch of images of Iron Wolf, Iron Wolf, Iron Wolf, Iron Wolf, Iron Wolf. So, it seems pretty clear, if you look at this, season four theme is going to be the season of the Iron Wolf. There is a significant amount. In fact, if we look at some of the other stuff that they've Day the Mind here, look at all these gains. These are all items that you actually end up gaining from different quests, seasonal reputations, et cetera. You can see we always say Iron Wolves, et cetera. It contains a weapon created by the Iron Wolves for calling the Helltide, backup equipment, we're saving for emergencies, secret weapons. So these are all Iron Wolf related rewards. Now they continue by talking a little bit about the lore and where it comes from. I'm actually not gonna get bother going into this. I think Riker did a much better job in his video. So I would recommend if you're interested in the war, go watch Riker's video about the lore itself related to who the Iron Wolves are, where they came from, where they've first been seen. They do, however, show some splash images. These are going to be images related to the Battle Pass, potentially that will be coming. As we know, there's always a premium Battle Pass that has cosmetics with it. And it looks like we are seeing those here. Again, you can see all of these in the Wowhead article if you care to pick through literally all of them. Pretty good looking mounts, however. I kind of like the uh, angel looking one down there. Now, with season four being so heavily about the itemization rework, the pit coming, the new bosses coming, et cetera. Uh, I doubt we see too much more in related to additional bonus things that will be coming outside of what we have data mined here or we're seeing within the PTR. I would expect something related to the hell tides or the other activities we already have in the PTR. Reputation system makes perfect sense. It's probably something easy they can tack into the game, give you rewards laid to it, add a theme onto it, but it's the stuff we're already testing, makes sense. In addition, however, to the reputation of system, it looks like we'll be getting, as well as the season four changes we've already covered on this channel, we are getting additional uniques. So you can see some of the generalized uniques that will be here, barbarian uniques, druid new uniques, necromancer new uniques, rogue new uniques, sorcerer new uniques. And all of these actually seem like they're somewhat enjoyable ones that fundamentally change the mechanic of abilities. For most of the things I've been seeing from my own testing as well as other people's videos, et cetera, it definitely does seem like the power creep is happening in this season. I would expect you to feel much stronger going into season four. It's starting to look like the amount of builds that will be popping off is significantly higher than previous seasons, which for me, I'm looking forward to. We're already seeing with some of these new uniques, like hilarious things. Like you've probably seen Rob's videos of the tornadoes literally everywhere, or Rax's video showing the frozen orbs, et cetera. So these uniques are already looking pretty fun. And I think that's sort of the keyword fun. All the Diablo 4 really has to do is have a good couple weeks of fun at the start of each one of the season launches. I want to bring up a point here. I'm very consistently seeing people that are just like picking a side, like it's a political campaign or a religion or something, where it's either Diablo 4 is only good and it's just everyone else is a hater and all criticism isn't fair and the game is great and it's the best ARPG, or there's the people that are like, Diablo 4 is absolute hogwash, like Blizzard North is no longer there, give up on the game, stop talking about the game, let it die, it's complete garbage. And, and no matter what, 
you're not allowed to like look at the past and be like, I like this about it. I don't like this about it. Like the nuance of conversation is pretty lost. But I think the reality of it is that all Diablo really has to do is not become the greatest game ever. It has to get into the cycle of games. It has to be one of the games that people want to cycle between, between Path of Exile League launches, the last Epoch season launches, and or the cycle launches, and then Diablo 4 season launches. They just have to fulfill the role of being one of these ARPGs that has a good couple to a few weeks of entertainment value, and that's all you really need out of it. I would just recommend not getting emotionally invested in any ARPG, because we also saw this with Path of Exile launch. Like the, the launch of the Path of Exile Necropolis League was really bad, in my opinion. I actually quite didn't like it. I thought it was like mid at best. But then within just a little while, they fixed it. But if you get so invested in, okay, Path of Exile is so bad, and you like go into this spiral, then when it's fixed and actually enjoyable, which it is now, you, you miss out on that fun. And this could be said for any of the games. I don't think you should stick to only one ARPG. You shouldn't be a loyalist to games in general. It doesn't make sense. You should be a loyalist to your own enjoyability. I wouldn't even bother like with this point or addressing these types of arguments I see everywhere in like Twitch and Reddit and comments at all, but I feel like there's a lot of people that maybe just see the constant like yelling between the people that are either defending a game, doesn't even have to be Diablo, or the people that are like saying the game is bad. And just you, that in its of itself, the conversation discourages them. So if you're one of these people, take it from me. I know this from experience. I have got way too emotionally involved in games before. And I promise you that it is not a good way to play games. It, it makes the games unenjoyable for you when you really are committed to caring about the future of the game. It can take away from your own enjoyment for what it actually is. So for now, what I do is I just play a game till I get bored, then I go play the other game that I think sounds fun. And that would be, in my opinion, my recommended way of doing it and not get involved in like the balance and all these other things. Just look into it, have fun with it while you can, then go play the other game that seems fun. It seems like a really simple philosophy, but honestly, it's one that not everyone actually follows these days. Now, I took a one day break after my 151 hour live stream, and now I am back to being live again as of the posting of this video. So come on by if you want, say hi. We'll be playing ARPGs today as we always do. Love you all, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy some games, and I'll see you on the next one.